What's going on, everybody? Fish for USA here, down at Polly's Landing. Lucky Seas Bait and Tackle. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over to the owner. Hey, good morning. I'm Corey Anderson down here at Lucky Seas Bait and Tackle. Uh, we have one of the cheapest boat launches there in Summerton, South Carolina. We also have a full service restaurant, great food specials every day. Come on down and see us, all your bait supplies, game room. We also do the shaved ice uh, here, coming up here soon again. Uh, Come on down and enjoy us and come see us and uh, get all your supplies and take off go fishing and be safe. We also have a service guide that uh, works out of Summerton, South Carolina. I'm going to let him introduce himself and y'all hurry up and come see us. Hey, good morning everybody. Captain Jim Butler out here at the uh, Cove this morning. Um, just wanted to let you know that we do a full service guide service here on the lake to include cat fishing. Uh, striper. We also uh, offer scenic cruises. Uh, just about anything you all want to do here on the water. We can take you up the lake, explain the lake, get you some nice fish to go in your box. Uh, you all come on down. We'll see you on the water. We're on Facebook. It's Let's Go Charter Services and my phone number is 305-432-6775 and here is a picture of our brochure. All right, everybody, we're going to switch over to Tackle Talk, and we're going to take a walk around the shop real quick so you guys can see some of the stuff they have. All right, on today's Tackle Talk, we're just going to go over the basics of what you need to get on the water and start fishing, from bass fish, catfish, to panfish. We're going to start, over, start by going over some of the rods, just basic information. Um, we're going to start off with bass fishing. This here is the Fenwick Elite Tech Bass, paired with the Fluger Supreme XT. Rod goes for $149.99, and the reel usually goes for $129.99 to $149.99. Lower end for bass fishing, we have the Fenwick Eagle, paired with the Fluger Trion. The rod usually goes between $39.99 and $49.99. The reel usually $29.99. For panfish, cropping, and everything in between. On the higher end, we have the Fenwick Elite Tech River Runner, and that is $149.99, lifetime warranty on this and the Elite Bass Tech. As far as the reel goes, we have the Fluger Presidential XT, usually goes for $79.99 to $89.99. And to the lower end for pan fishing, we have the Fenwick Eagle, $39.99 to $49.99, and paired with the Fluger Trion, $29.99. For bait casting, just something simple, we have the Abu Garcia Pro Max. And that's paired with the Zepco 33 Authentic. For cane poles, we have the B&M Elite Jewel. For catfishing, we have the Pen Prevail, paired with the Akuma Avenger bait running reel. This rod goes for $99.99 roughly, and the reel is usually around $50. Now, when it comes to fishing rods, you don't have to have Fluger, you don't have to have Fenwick. You can have basically any of your preferences from Luz to 
Abu Garcia, anything in between. Just know that for bass fishing, you're gonna want something from medium to medium heavy. And if you're going into brush and cover like that, try to stick to a heavy action to get you out of the cover and get those boat, fish in the boat. And for pan fish and everything else, just try to go from, from ultralight, one pound up to 10 pound test, anything in between will work. The cane rods, depending on the area that you're in, you're gonna just basically go off the length of the, of, of the cane rod. Because if you are fishing something that needs to be further out, you're gonna wanna get a 13 foot cane rod. If you're fishing shorter, you know, anything from eight foot to 10 foot will work too. One last view of the rods before we start getting into the tackle. For tackle, bass fishing, terminal tackle, just the basics, you know, wacky, Texas, sliding, drop shot, O-rings, bobber stops, bullet weights, weighted jigs, some bobbers, wacky rig tool. For lures, you're gonna wanna cover every section of the water column. Obviously from the top, these are you know, poppers, walking style baits, jerk baits, crank baits, weedless. So you have mouths, frogs, just your basic stuff, spinner baits, jigs for the bottom, soft plastics, curly tail grubs, dark worms, finesse, shaky head, Lizards and swim baits, panfish, and everything else in between. You know, you got your micro baits, cricket from Rebel, Rapal X wraps, corn, grubs, red worm imitation, Helgramite imitations. Whatever you have in your body of water, you're going to want to try to imitate. You also have hooks, jigs, small floats, small grubs, and tiny swim baits. Down here we just have a carrying tackle box, something that I would carry on my person as I'm out, so that way I don't have to go back and forth to my main bag. There's a trout magnet jigs. Neon kit. And then into some catfishing. You know, live bait hooks, everything in between, swivels, snaps, weights, sliding, pinch. All of these right here I use for catching bait. They're all micros from Umpqua, Daiichi, Owner, Catfish Weights. You're gonna want some that are non-rolling and some rolling. Scented Baits, Power Bait, Forceps, these are stakes for rod holding for bank fishing. Scale of course, knives for cut bait, filet of fish, and scented baits. As well as some random stuff. Now today was just a basic overview of what I use for my personal collection to get out there and catch fish. And to introduce you guys to Lucky Sea Bait Tackle, as well as Jim, Butler's Guide Service here in Somerton, South Carolina. 
you know, if you have any questions about anything that I had gone over today, please leave a comment. I'd love to get more in depth and stuff with you. And uh, give us a like. See you next Monday.